Hi, Master Chef Junior. Right now, I'm going to show you how I make steak. But first, you have to leave, take it out of the fridge and leave it to 20 to 30 minutes out. So when you put it in, it's not cold and it will half taste, and the middle will be completely cooked. First, I'm going to dry it out. So this is a New York strip, so that means it's very tender and I don't need to marinate it. So I'm going to push down, get all the moisture out. Then I'm going to flip and do the same. There we go. Ready to season. I'm going to first start with my pink soap. Going to get it all over. Now I'm going to do my black pepper. I'm going to push it in so when I cook it, it's going to have it inside. It's going to taste delicious. Now flip it over. And then put some pepper. And then the salt. Push it back in. There we go. Now I'm going to put in the oil. I'm going to grab the pan and spread it. Place it down. This is going to give it an oily taste. I also use canola oil because it doesn't have that much of like a different taste like a nut or something like that. It's just going to give it the oil. Also, it has a very high boiling point. Just going to spread it around, get into those places. There we go. Now I'm ready to put in the meat along with these herbs. Just going to wait for it to steam, and when it steams, it's ready to put in. Now this is thyme. I have some garlic right here, and rosemary. These herbs will give it a fresh taste, a beautiful taste, and this will help the pepper give a spice to the steak. Now I'm going to put in the steak. There we go. Now I'm going to put in the thyme. The garlic. Rosemary. And I'm placing all these herbs. It's going to give it a great taste. Push it down because what I'm looking for is a golden brown crisp medium rare piece, and that's what I'm doing. So first I'm doing this side, then I'm gonna switch it to the other side. Quick peek. Couple more seconds. Now I'm gonna flip it. Get under, get my thread. Bam! Golden crisp of what I wanted. Now we want the same thing like this. Then I'm going to turn it to the side. Get help the pan later. Gonna dig in. I'm gonna get in there. Gonna let it rest for a while. Now I'm gonna cook it in the side.
outside. And I'm going to push it to do the other side. I'm going to drop it to the other side. Let's get this. Let's make it through that. Now I'm going to turn it off. Put the butter in. And let it mix it in the piece. It's going to be good. Very good. I'm going to push that around. Push it closer. Then we've got that buttery taster. Holding it first. That's how I love it. That crunch to it. Amazing. Delicious. So mix it around with the oil. It's good. It's been amazing, right? So I'm going to get my meat. Put it there. Oh wow, that beautiful smoke is just coming up. It's filling the air with that goodness. Now I'm going to get it over here. And I'm going to pour that beautiful buttery sauce. Just going to turn it again. So you can see all the goodness, that beautifulness. Now the sauce goes on. I'm just going to get some dry milk in it. Wow, you can see it pouring down. It's like a waterfall of goodness. Wow, it smells delicious. Beautiful, isn't it? Take a good look at that. rest for 15 minutes before I cut it to check how good it is inside. It has rested for 15 minutes. All those delicious liquids have sunk it in and when I was cooking it smelled so good so I can't wait to try it and it's ready to cut and I'm ready to cut it. So first I'm going to do it the first piece. Nice thick long strokes. That's close to a medium rare right there, right? I'm going to do the next slice. Beautiful, isn't it? Now that all that smells is coming out, the juice is coming out there, those herbs are making it look so fresh. My mouth is just watering for these delicious pieces. It's just going through my nose and I'm like, ah. There we go. Wow, those are amazing. I want to try one right here. It smells so good, I can't wait. The moment of truth. Mmm! This is delicious! <laughs> Thank you, Master Chef Junior, for watching how I make steak. Have a delicious day!